You can improve your photos significantly by just learning a few simple things about composition. And I am not kidding, you can use your 5 year old smartphone camera and still take better photos than those taken with a super expensive DSLR. Seriously, learning what I'm about to teach you will make your photos much better, plus it's not complicated. In this video I will show you hands on practically how to use it in your photography. Let's go right ahead. You might have seen this grid before. It's a very common grid that you can activate on many cameras. I advise you to turn it on if you have the option. As you can see the grid is dividing the picture into three horizontal and vertical thirds. Where these lines meet are called the points of interest. Putting your object in one of these points can make your photo look much more balanced and easy to the eye. Studies have shown that our eyes tend to be drawn to these spots when viewing a photo. But there's more to know about it. Here I found a flower, which is a good example of how to use the points of interest. First of all, decide what you want to be the most interesting part of your photo. I decided that the flower petal would be the thing I want the viewers to focus on. Here the flower is in the middle of the photo. Taking a photo like this would be most people's first instinct. But it looks kind of boring and monotone. So let's apply our composition rule about the points of interest. If you put it here, for example, it looks more pleasing to the eye. Or here, here, or here. The points of interest does have their own meaning too. For example, if you put your object in one of the left points, it will feel more welcoming and friendly. And if you put it in one of the right points, it can give your object a feeling of avoidance. The upper points can give your object a more powerful feeling and the lower points a submissive feeling. This is where it gets more interesting. Now when we know the characteristics of the points, Let's put it all together. So the lower left point of interest is submissive but friendly. This is suitable for an object that is ready to explore the world or starting to live their life. Here you can see the snail in the lower left point of interest. It looks like it's exploring the new world which is much bigger than itself. So at the same time as it is submissive, it's happy and excited to explore the new world. The upper left point of interest is friendly but powerful. This is a simple photo of a light pole, but it looks like it is watching over us and keeping us protected. If we switch it over to the right side, it looks more like it's judging us, which fits the characteristics of the upper right point of interest. Let's place the pole in the lower right point. This point is submissive and avoiding, so it looks like it's sad and doesn't want to talk to anyone. Maybe this will make you realize how much composition can enhance your photo. Well, since we made a street light have human characteristics. But composition rules aren't really rules, they're more like guidelines. So they have been shown to work but doesn't necessarily work all the time. Just because you put your photo in one point of interest doesn't always mean it will convey those characteristics of the point. It depends on what type of object you're taking a photo of, which direction it's looking at or moving, the light and color etc. But it sure will help you to know about the common characteristics of the points of interest. Try it out yourself and take photos in different compositions. Here you will see me trying out putting the object in every point of interest to see what fits the best. It's better to be safe than sorry. The first composition with a flower petal in the middle of the photo could work too, if you want a more strict and focused composition. In my personal opinion I prefer it in one of the left points of interest, since I want a more relaxed feeling. I can teach you a lot more things if you like and subscribe, since otherwise I wouldn't know if anyone is liking my content. And also be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or opinions. Goodbye.